one of the things that your team will need to think about is answering this template. This will really help you refine your unique selling proposition. For blank, who blank, company name is blank that blank. Unlike your competitors, company name is blank. Sounds like a thesis statement, doesn't it? Well, let me walk you through an example of what that would look like. Who need high-quality lion taming equipment? Lucky Leo's Lion Taming Emporium is the world's only dedicated online lion taming equipment distributor that provides the very best lion taming equipment delivered straight to your door. Unlike other circus equipment supply companies, Lucky Leo's is the only e-commerce business in North America that caters specifically to these performers. So we've identified who our audience is, what we do, how we do it, and what makes us different. You'll find this in the handout. So you'll want to think about your company name, answer for this short answer for your value proposition, thinking about your slogan or tagline, Hey, we're all about X. We do things differently. If you're into X, we're the only place to get it. What is going to be your slogan or tagline? And then it also starts to think about, well, what's your company's color palette? And what's the fonts you're going to use? This all ties this imagery together. A lot of what you're building here will be key components for your elevator pitch. So it's some, something that, that you'll want to revisit and refine. So just because you lock it down now doesn't mean it can't change later. And we can make, uh, but, but definitely want you thinking about that. As a precursor, we're going to really dive down into customers next because price is often not the only reason why people buy. I'm very price conscious, and you are probably very price conscious, but I know there's people who would never think about buying generic soda or generic cereal or generic bicycle parts, for instance. They are just driven by brand, they are driven by reliability, they are driven by user experience, and if it costs more and it's going to do the job, they're okay with that. And niche is good. You are not Walmart. We're not trying to be Walmart. Walmart is Walmart. They're appearing there. Walmart is appealing to everyone. Let them do that. We want to think a little bit more niche about who your audience is. So that's a lot about the unique selling proposition. If your teams have questions, don't hesitate. I'm going to tag a little extra movie on this that I, I think is really interesting to watch. It's from the DVD extra of the movie 300, and it's a really great testament on someone keeping with their idea, even though people kept saying no. Hey, I've got an idea for a movie. No, thank you. Well, what about this? No, thank you. It kept staying with it, and I think the perseverance and the way that they, keep, they kept having to try to change the conversation to convince someone that their vision was the correct vision, I think is a really great story uh, and one you might find interesting. So make sure you watch that.